Oh, I got my little cup of coffee. I think my cup is empty. Look at it. It's empty. <laughs> the cup was empty. I was slurping on air. Oh, sorry. Awake, awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. <laughs> I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Um, alrighty, so where am I going to be going? Survey communication line. north of the canyon so I gotta go up here maybe so it said north so I probably gotta go this way I think I to be honest I don't even know where I'm going uh, survey com survey communication north of the canyon north of the canyon Okay, Thunder Canyon. So I got to go back to Thunder Canyon, which means I got to go to the cave, which she was talking about. And then, okay, got it, got it, got it. I know where I'm going. Here's the trail. Here's the trail. I found it. So we, go, so we got to go back down here, I believe. And then I can, yeah, there's a, so yeah, we got to go down this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going the right way. We're going the right way. Um, oh, what's it called? I, so I used to, I used to live in Japan. I lived in Japan for three years and, uh, my parents and I, we would go hiking all the time. Like Japan had such beautiful hiking spots. One of my favorite one, one of my favorite hikes out there was when like, so you would go through a hike and you would actually be practically hiking through water. Like the rocks would be slippery and everything. So obviously you would need the water shoes hiking water shoes it was a lot of fun at the very end of the hike too at the very end of the trail was a waterfall and you can swim in the waterfall and stuff it was beautiful my that was probably one of my favorite uh oh, what i can report the fog oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here roger that warms up fast the mornings are cold in boulder though right yeah they are what did you get up to down there i mean what's life like I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. So... Hey, oh. oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Is she talking about me? Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? 
Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, <laughs> wife? <laughs> but you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom. What's but, over here? You know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. Oh. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe... The comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Oh, she didn't even... She didn't even respond to the cabin? <laughs> there better not have been, like, a jump scare or something. Trash. What is this? Oh, wow. Should I even be in here? <laughs> Just open that. It's pretty burnt, yep. Oh look! It, 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 this all this is also in my um, my my search house or whatever. So it says burn. So it was probably an accident here. Oh, is this like another? This might be another um, lookout spot. This might be another lookout spot. Cause look, there's the. This is the thing where the map thing should be. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, see right there, see? Ruined find uh fire finder. Okay, let's open this. Go. There's not even a map in here. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I <laughs> Put it on. Through war, you probably can't get enough silence. So she didn't have anything to say about that cabin. Huh. That's interesting. All right, let's get back to the trail. I was, I was, I was, I was. I needed. I need to stay on the path. Um, okay. I guess I'll talk another about another spot I used to hike at in Japan. Um, another, uh, probably my second favorite, uh, hiking spot in Japan was this one spot. It had a ton of rocks. Like, it looked, it looked like a spot that you could do parkour in. And as I, I was a little young back then, so like I, I was into that parkour stuff. And um, I had a lot of fun. I used to practice parkour with all my friends, and we'd get into a lot of trouble and run away from cops and stuff, you know, because that's that's what kids like to do for some reason. Very stupid, very stupid. And um, don't do that. Just do parkour in a safe, meaningful way. Don't get yourself in trouble and run from cops. That's not good. But yeah, I used to, I used to go to this hike all the time, and I would sprint through it like I'd freaking fly through it, just. Jumping over rocks, jumping on top of the rocks, like it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, okay. Guess that's that. Oh, I, um, how do I get up there? Oh, I can I can jump down from right here and and walk up. Wait, I could report it. Ah, uh, whatever.
Oh, beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Gosh. How can these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. I guess I um I took too long to report that long drop there. Which is fine. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. What's over here? Oh, nothing. There's nothing over here. Okay, I shouldn't be here. There's nothing there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Oh, um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. Wait a second. Start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Wait a second. Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Look at this wire. The way the way this wire was cut, it had to be cut like around like here or something. Cause I mean, how do you even get to that point? Cause this is Cause if they were cut it right here, the wire obviously would have flung back to whatever is over there. Do you see anything from yours, like, you know, with clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mine, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. Okay. That was weird where the, the cut was. It was a weird spot to be cut at. Like, that didn't make any sense. All right, let's go find these. Let's find these teens. They're drinking. They shouldn't even be drinking. The legal age of drinking is 21. Ah, it's fine. Nobody follows rules anymore anyways. Oh, there's a backpack over there. Could that be theirs? down a drop and now I can't climb back up mm, that is a pickle <gasps> I, mean, I can just keep hiking but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here well, hopefully let's go see what's over here you find these assholes I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw him last hang on Delilah I will go back over there but I want to I want to explore supply drop 60 feet supply drop Oh, this thing? Oh, there's nothing even in here. Okay. Is there anything over here? Oh, okay, there isn't. Okay. 
Okay, good. All right, there's another path over here I want to look at. Um, it said this goes to Thera for whatever. Oh, there it is. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. <laughs> Man. So sassy. Okay, so... Wait, what the heck? Okay, I got stuck on that thing right there. Okay, so let's go back over here to finding the teens and whatnot. We'll figure it out. They're over here somewhere. As far as Burns will say, they're over here somewhere hiding in the rocks. We need to find them and punch them in the face. Fireworks are illegal and tripping wires is also illegal. It's a pack back. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, ah! you could always pick Swipe! Supplies. That's funny. Brian Goodwin. Whoa, gosh. Oh, I got a camera now. I was just actually saying that I wanted a camera earlier. I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Oh, here we go. Was he a ranger or something? Oh no. <gasps> there's a there's a smoke there. In two forks, your lookout with his dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. Three summers ago, so like three years ago. Mm, no, you know I'm not a stickler for rules. It took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kids. Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, oh, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. Oh. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Two forks. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. There's a fence over here. I see this fence. Let's go down here. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. It's lichen. What's a lichen? Well, 
Wouldn't you like him to know? <laughs> oh my god, goodbye. <laughs> I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but that'll probably be a few days. Okay, I'm trying to just backtrack here because I wanted to see what was over here. Um, and it looks like there's nothing. Just in case if I missed anything. Just, just want to be very thorough. Um, I think both of these things go to the same spot. Oh, it looks like a fire here. Burn tree. This is this is pretty beautiful. Oh, okay. Uh, she's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. 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 Especially for her, if you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't. Don't even. Oh, there's a smoke. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go this way then. You know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. What? Oh, okay. I gotta drop down here. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm over here just trying to find stuff, like in case I've missed something or whatever. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. I want to take a. I want to take a picture. Uh, wait, where's the plume of smoke over there? Okay, should I go down here or go up? Oh, okay, we'll just go. We'll just go down. We're gonna go down. To the lake? Oh, the music just started. This is really beautiful. I'm gonna take another. Oh no, actually no, I won't. This is very pretty. It's very pretty. This the style of this kind of reminds me of a uh, raft. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Smoke. There's a smoke there. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but I think I think if I go either way, it will work. Oh, what's up here? Did I go up here last time? I don't remember if I went up here. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Oh gosh, hurry. But hey, oh. I got a 30 cent 
Okay. Now a raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Um... Yeah, actually, I, wa I really want to go see what's over here, but... I know I'm not supposed to be going over there. It's fine. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go this way. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty and said so we're gonna go look. It. We're gonna go look over there. Brave. I was drunk. I'm gonna go check out what's over here. I wanna go see. I wanna be an explorer. I'm exploring. And there might be something I missed. I don't want to miss any. Here it is. It's weird. Somebody obviously did that on purpose. We're back at the chain link fence here. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? been an ornery young woman the last thing i would do is climb a fence especially if i knew i was in trouble hey remember that guy from yesterday the guy i saw hiking home yes maybe he was from this fence place mm, from the land of the fence land of the yes fence. you know what i'll make a note you might be on to something Okay, let's go back to this plume of smoke. There's nothing here. Actually, is there something up there, maybe? Could I could I even get up there? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, I can't jump across. Okay. I just got to climb back up this thing. All right, let's let's go back to the thing, and then I gotta find a stopping point soon. I gotta stop what I'm doing soon. Alrighty, let's get back on the path to this plume of smoke, find out who's there, and um, yeah. We'll go from there. We'll give somebody some knuckle sandwiches. Okay, so. Go through. Yep. Gotta go through here. Good to know that they picked up their clothes from here. Is there a campfire? And I think if I take, if I can, could I go through here? There's something over here. Um, no, it doesn't look like it doesn't seem to be like there's something over here. You know, I haven't seen any animals besides just that deer since I've come through here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we can go down this. Ugh. Here we go. We can go down through here. What are you gonna do when the fire season oh. wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. 
Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. I don't know. Taking care of a human being is very hard. Oops. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Oh, wow. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, there's something here. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Hmm. That's not good. Ripped cloth. Oh, here we go. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That well, seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean... Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're freaking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the cave hour oh, in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of your our stuff oh and stealing panties is gross out um i didn't steal the panties you're probably a mental freaking axe murderer and are so going to jail i hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks okay oh they're gone for sure well what's it say 
called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. <coughs> I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay. Day three. Well... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to fix up my window. Well, that is it, guys. I think that's where I'm going to stop it for right now. Um, thank you, guys. Sorry. Let me stop it. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video game, please comment and like. You know, comment on this video. Like the video. You know, tell your friends. Share it with your family. Tell them how awesome and funny and entertaining I am. Um, thank you, guys, so much for watching. And... See you guys in the next one.